morning, everyone, and welcome to our Monday conversation with Father Pat. Father, uh, this weekend, uh, uh, well, normally on Monday, we, we, we uh, take a little look at your article in the bulletin, but um, uh, because of a holiday last week, we didn't have one. And so uh, this week, let's talk a little bit about um, the first reading um, yesterday, with, which uh, had to do with Amos and uh, how we, um, you know, are not all prophets that are professional prophets. And I know that ties in uh, directly with some things you want to talk about this morning, as well as our mission. Yeah. So uh, I was struck this weekend by uh, Bishop Barron's reflection uh, on the, uh, particularly on that first reading from, from Sunday. It, it's a reading from the prophet Amos, where, where Amos says, he, he says, look, I, I'm not a professional prophet. You know, I don't know why God called me. Uh, I'm, I'm just a simple shepherd and dresser of sycamore trees and, and all. And Bishop Barron in his, his homily pointed out how, you know, we're all kind of like that, 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 that in our baptism, we are all called to be priests, prophets, and kings. But, but all too often, when we're asked to be a prophet, when we're challenged to be a prophet, and a prophet means to just speak publicly about our faith, we we, we go, oh, you know, I can't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm not a priest. I'm not a catechist. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not Billy Graham or Bishop Sheen and, and all. And Bishop Barron points out that, you know, we don't have to speak to thousands in a stadium or broadcast on TV, but that, but that we're all simply called to just speak publicly about our faith. And he, he gives a series of points about how we should do that, you know, starting with just saying things like God bless you, you know, to, to, to just be open about our faith and not, and not hide our faith. I, I know when I was, particularly when I was working, you know, I, I, I thought, oh, you couldn't say anything about your faith and you couldn't use the word God in talking publicly. And, you know, we need to just witness to our faith. And one of the things that we've been talking about, uh, the team that's been looking at the Disciple Maker Index Survey and our results from that is, is how as a parish we, we need to do a better job to uh, equip ourselves to talk about our faith. Um, you know, as Bishop Barron points out in his homily, there's, there's a lot of resources available out on the internet to help us learn about our faith. And, and you know, we need to do a better job of learning about our faith so that when people ask us about our faith, we can talk about it. And we need to be able to talk about it civilly. That's what I like about the uh, the, the talk and all that we had in the uh, in the faith and poverty series that we're doing on Thursday nights. You know, where we we looked at how we should be able to talk about the social issues and social justice today. How we should be able to talk about those civilly. And and you know, we can't be afraid. Uh, to do these kind of things. And all too much in society, we're just too afraid of offending people. But uh, it was really a, a, a good uh, discussion about how we should be prophets in, in our land, how we should be able to talk publicly about our faith and, and how we have to reinstitute that. So, um, you know, I encourage people to uh, listen to his homily. Uh, next week, uh, my bulletin article will talk a little bit more about this. And I hope uh, that it's the start of a conversation we can have uh, here in the parish about how we can better equip ourselves to talk about the faith, how we can talk in a civil and, and, and dialogue about the issues that are facing our faith, be able to answer people's questions about our faith and, and not to be afraid of, of that as we go forward. And we will, or we do have the uh, link to Bishop Barron's uh, video contained at the bottom of this uh, paragraph here today. So, uh, uh, yes, please take some time to watch that. There's some good, uh, good tips in there for us all. Father, thanks, and we'll talk to you again uh, later this week. All right. Yeah.